Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless this person that is about to listen to this audio. Oh God, let them know that, oh God, they can be changed if they just have a touch by Jesus. Oh God, let them know that the Bible is real. It's a book that can change their life if they want to be changed. Oh God, if it did it for me, if they're the woman that had an issue of blood, oh God, you can do it for anybody. He said, whosoever will, let him come. Come right now to Jesus while you have a chance. For you might not have a chance anymore. Bless right now, Jesus, and I pray. Amen. My message today will be coming from Luke, the 8th chapter, verse 43 and 46. And read, and a woman, and a woman having an issue of blood, twelve years, which had spent all her her living upon physician, neither could be healed by any, came behind him, and touched the border of his garment, and immediately, her issue of blood, staunched, and you said, who touched me? When all the night, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thronged thee and pressed thee and say thou who touched me. And Jesus said, Woman, somebody have touched me. For I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And the woman, and when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down behind him, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith had made thee go, thee, thee whole go. And peace. My message today is Have you been touched by Jesus? Have you been touched by Jesus? As I mentioned all all, all the time in my video, that there are two kind of people in the house of God. There are fans and there are followers. There are sheep and there are goat. There are tares and there are wheat. There are church goers and there are Christian. So my message today is, have you been touched by Jesus? Now, 10 things happen when you've been touched by Jesus. 10 things, my friend. These are 10 S that happen when you've been touched by Jesus, because when you've been touched by Jesus, you are not the same. Amen. You are you are completely touched from your soul, your head to the soul of your feet. You have been touched. Hey, glory to God. This woman has spent all her money on physician. And hey, glory to God. She she could not be healed by any. He glory to God. And so Jesus Christ came to town and she saw the crowd. And, and then she couldn't, glory to God, she couldn't get standing up. So she crawled. And when she crawled, she touched the hem of Jesus' garment. And she was not the same. And Jesus Christ said, who touched me? Because virtue have gone out of me. Now, Jesus might not be here physically, but he's here spiritually. He here as the word. Because the Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the words were with God, and the word was God. Say in the beginning, God, all things were made by him. And Jesus Christ, the word of God said, I sent forth my word and healed them, and my word should not return unto the void. So, have you been touched? by Jesus. Now, I know I've been touched by Jesus because I'm not the same. And if you have been touched by Jesus, my friend, you will never be the same. Amen. A lot of people have been going to church all their life. 
but they have not been touched by Jesus because they are fans. The difference between a fan and a follower, a fan cheers but don't want to get involved with salvation. A fan cheers but a, a, a fan gets up and go to the bathroom. A fan just ignore it. A fan is like an atheist. A fan is a person that is, is like a critic. You just stand by the wayside and see whether they're getting, getting in touch with Jesus. So my assignment today is to is to tend to tell people ten things happen when you've been touched by Jesus. My friend, and number one, I mentioned before, you won't be the same. Yes, you won't be the same. Because the Bible says, if any man being Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. So number one, you are you are not the same, my friend. You don't go to the same place no more. You don't say the same word anymore. You change your friends. Because the Bible say, my friend, glory to God, we don't have fellowship with darkness. Hey, glory to God. Amen. We compel them. We, we witness them, but we don't fellowship with them no more. Because, my friend, the Bible say, if you are if you are friend with the world, you are enemy toward Christ. So, glory to God, we are not the same. Hey, glory number two. Hey, glory to God. We serve Christ. Amen. We don't serve. We don't serve the world anymore. Amen. We serve the Creator of the you. We serve the Anointed One. Amen. So, glory number one. He's not the same. Number two, we serve Christ. Number three, my friend, you will read the Scripture. Hey, if you are a new person in Christ, my friend. You are hunger and thirst for righteousness. How you get how you get filled? You get filled by reading the word of God every day of your life, my friend. The Bible says faith come by hearing, hearing forth the word of God. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And and number third thing, my friend. Number fourth thing, my friend, you will be saved. Hey, glory to God. You be saved. How you be saved? Because you are a person, my friend. When when, when when Peter was preaching on the day of Pentecost and preaching and, and Peter was preaching Jesus, the men and brethren say, What must we do? And Jesus Christ and Peter told them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Number fifth thing happened. Hey, glory to God. You are separated from the world. My friend, the Bible says, come up from among them and be separate, said Lord, touch not the unclean thing, and I receive you unto myself. The Bible says, present your body as a living sacrifice. My friend, you are a living sacrifice when you when you you separate yourself from the world. We are in the world, but we are not of the world. We are not serving the world. Hey, glory, we are pilgrim passing through. This is not our home. Hey, glory to God. And then number six thing, you have the Holy Spirit. Hey, glory to God. When you've been touched by Jesus, my friend, hey, glory to God. Because Jesus Christ told them, wait in Jerusalem until you've been endowed power from on high. Now, a lot of people inter a lot of people interject this by saying, I have a terror night service. I remember a time when I was just coming up in church, my friend. They have a turn night service on Wednesday or after church or 5 o'clock service, my friend. Here you are, I went home and ate some food and you got a tarot, tarot, say, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And when you start spitting, when you start vomiting, when you start speaking in the tongue, you say, oops, you got the Holy Ghost. But, but the Bible say, my friend, Acts, hey, glory to God, he should be given. Seek as your fire. Now, Cornelius. Hey, glory to God, when Peter was preaching the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ, my friend, the Holy Ghost fell on them and it spoke in tongue. Hey, glory to God. Then they got baptized. So Cornelius' house didn't tarry for the Holy Ghost. The preached word, hallelujah, so you can be hearing this message right now and the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, can get on you right now and you, you receive the Holy Ghost, my friend. For the Holy Ghost is not emotionalism. The Holy Ghost is not a feeling. The Holy Ghost, glory to God, when you receive the Holy Ghost, my friend, it gives you a conscience toward the Word of God. It gives you, glory to God, an outlook on life. It gives you 
hunger and thirst for righteousness. When you have the Holy Ghost, my friend, you will never be the same. You don't go to you don't go to club no more. You don't cuss no more. You change the conversation. Glory to God, and you got you you are waiting for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The seventh thing happened. You will see with faith and not with sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible says, hey, glory to God. The Bible says, now faith is the seven things hoped for, the elders not seen, but it. the elders obtain a good report. When you have faith, my friend, amen, you don't, you don't be like uh, Thomas. Thomas said, unless I, be, unless I see the print in his hand, he go to the print in his hand, and and he go to God. I see the nail in his in his the 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 the, 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 the spear in his side. I will not believe. But Jesus Christ said, "Blessed are those that have not seen me, but yet believe." Now in in Romans eight twenty four and twenty five say, "For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man see it, what does he yet hope for?" But if we hope for that we see not, then we were patient, wait for it. So we don't we don't see with our eyes. We see with our faith. Because without the Bible say without faith it's impossible. Please God, he that come to God must first believe that he's rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you have faith and not with sight. Lead by faith and not by the world want to see it to believe it and Christian believe it then see it glory to God hallelujah amen so we will see with faith and not with our natural eyes and glory to God number eight you live for the Savior Jesus Christ what I say you live Paul say for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. And if you Bible say we lose your life for my sake, you will find it. So we live for the Savior. The Savior is not your money. The Savior is not your job. The Savior is not the material thing you have on this world. The Bible says, seek, the Bible says, my friend, set your affection on things above and not things on the earth. So the Savior is Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Number nine, you don't serve Satan. What? We don't serve Satan. Satan is the God of this world. So we don't serve Satan. Glory to, that's why we are in the world. The Bible says the world of its own. Amen. So we don't serve Satan. Who is Satan? Satan is Lucifer. Lucifer is, is a, a cherub that was in heaven. And the Bible says, Jesus Christ said, I saw Satan as lightning that fell from heaven. The one that deceived Eve in the Garden of Eden. The one, my friend, he glory to God, that, that tell you to do bad things. The Bible says, devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But just come that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So number 10th reason. He glory to God. And this is this is the one that, my friend, if you know that you've been touched by Jesus Christ, my friend, you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. You have yielded. He glory to God. And I mean, stop. He glory to God. Your life is surrounded. He, your life is surrendered to God and the Bible. You got a new walk. You got a new talk. You got a new behavior. You got a new dress code. Everything about you is new. Are you are born again. You have surrendered your life. Your hands, like a prince, stick up. You lift your hands up. You say, God I say to you, stick up. You lift your hands and say, I surrender my life to God. My life is surrounded with God. So these things have happened to you if you've been touched by Jesus. Have you been touched by Jesus? If you've been touched by Jesus, my friend, you're never the same. You serve Christ. He glory to God. You you read the scripture. You are saved. You are separated. My friend, you you have the Holy Spirit. You you see with your faith, not with your sight, your eyes. He glory to God. And you are you have the Savior, Jesus Christ. He glory to God. You don't serve Satan. And number 10 thing, you have surrendered your life to God. My friend, this lady been touched. And and she she was trembling. And she's and Jesus Christ said, Daughter, your faith, hallelujah, have made thee hold. 
go in peace. So if this is you, my friend, if you have been touched by Jesus, and glory to God, you are not the same. If you if you say you are, you have been touched by Jesus, you're still cussing, you're still swearing, you're still sexing. You, come on now, you're still serving Satan. You have not been touched. You go to church, <laughs> you sing in the choir, you are usher, <laughs> you do everything, my friend. But if you if you have not been touched, Hallelujah, glory to God. If you say you've been touched and you're still doing the things of the world, you have not been touched. Get retouched by Jesus. And if you be retouched by Jesus, my friend, you will never be the same. Look at the look at the blind man. The blind man said, it's me. Jesus opened my eyes. And they went to his parents. And his parents said, this is our son. That's why I tell people, my friend, make sure when you've been touched by Jesus Christ, you don't need nobody to validate if been touched or not. This blind man parents say, this is our son, but high receiver sight. We know not. Go, hallelujah. And they say, go ask, go ask the son. Hey, go, no, go ask him. He's of age. Ask him. And the reason why, my friend, because they love the praise of man rather than the praise of God. If people confess to you, they get put out of the synagogue. And I come and tell you, my friend, if you've been touched, you're not afraid on your job, my friend. If somebody asks you, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Hey, go, you're not going to say, um, mm, I go to church. My friend, if somebody asks you, I'm a Christian. Yes, I'm a Christian because I'm excited because I've been touched by Jesus. If you been touched by Jesus Christ, my friend, you are not the same. And the last one, you are surrendered. Your life is surrender with Jesus Christ, my friend. My friend, you have new friends. Come on now. You have faith. You are faithful. You have the heavenly Father, my friend. Finance is not called glory to you, you, you. You're not touched by finance. You're touched by the Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thou will be done on earth as in the heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. That means you have been touched by Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God? Bless this person that have listened to this message, oh God. Oh God, give him a touch. Oh God, give him a touch by you right now, oh God. They have, might not have experienced a touch like this woman, oh God, glory to God, in this in this verse of scripture. She been touched, my friend. He, she spent all her money. He glory to some people are spending all their money on psychiatrists, spend all the money on medicine, and they need to be touched. They need to be validated, oh God. Touch the oh, glory, Hashatah. In the name of Jesus, touch it right now. Oh God, Adabosha. In the name of Jesus, oh God, somebody may listen right now and need a touch, need a touch by you. Oh God, a touch of healing, a touch of love, a touch of affirmation, a touch of dedication, a touch of decision right now. Touch them right now. In Jesus' name, I pray, oh God. Touch right now. In Jesus' name, amen.